It's National Access Awareness Week. National Access Awareness Week was developed by the esteemed Rick Hansen after his Man in Motion World Tour. This week, we are all challenged to recognize barriers to accessibility and plan for their removal. National Access Awareness Week has four objectives. Assess the accessibility of services and, and facilities, set measurable goals, make practical improvements, and celebrate achievements. I believe Ontario has made great progress when it comes to accessibility. This is thanks to the work of local accessibility champions and individuals like Rick Hansen and our former Lieutenant Governor, the Honourable David Onley. However, there is, is clearly still much more work to be done. I have had the privilege of meeting with David Lepofsky, Chair of the Excels Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities at Alliance. David is a true champion of accessibility and has produced the measurable results that are a good a goal of Access Awareness Week. However, sign on to Twitter and use the hashtag AODA fail and you'll see how many barriers to accessibility are present in everyday activities. Key to the AODA Alliance is improved implementation and enforcement of the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act. They have been clear that if the government is to meet its goal of making Ontario accessible by 2025, significant changes need to be made. The recommendations include providing direction on accessibility requirements, introducing an election accessibility standard, and giving the Ministry of Community and Social Services the responsibility for the Act. The needs and goals have been identified. Now it's time for real change. Today we are joined by recipients who are receiving the David C. Honley Award for Leadership in Accessibility. I would like to congratulate the recipients and thank them for the dedicated work to improving accessibility in Ontario. As we recognize National Access Awareness Week, let's continue the important work of making Ontario accessible for all. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Further responses, the member for